Hey, what's up guys? Happy Friday. If it's Friday for you, if not, happy day. Okay, I gotta redo a video because Google got rid of their Google Keywords tool and they renamed it to Google Keyword Planner. Uh, still kind of serves the great, the same purpose. Uh, it's excellent for SEO. So let's go ahead and check it out. So what you need to do is Google, Google AdWords and you gotta set up an account. It's about as easy as setting up a Gmail account. And Google AdWords, online advertising by Google. I'm gonna go ahead and log in and I'm gonna move my video recorder away from the screen so you can't see my login stuff. Uh, sorry about that. And um, we're in, let's take a look at it. So immediately let's go to tools and analysis. Just get away, if I, ha I, I had a AdWords account at one time. I'm completely anti AdWords. It didn't do anything for me except charge me a lot of money no potential clients went to it. I think it was just my competitors clicking on my AdWords all day and getting my um, bill jacked up each month. So again, I am a complete supporter of SEO and trying to track organic traffic and getting ranked number one just by having the correct content on your website. So I'm gonna go over here to tools and analysis. Let's go ahead down here to keyword planner. So even though I don't use AdWords, this is an excellent way to see what people are searching on Google each month. So I'm gonna click search for a new keyword and group of ideas. So right here, okay, it talks about your product or service. What do we wanna Google? A little bit down here, targeting. If you're a small business owner in a small town and you wash windows or you clean houses or something like that, you probably wanna keep that specific to the United States. If you are a big international e-commerce website, I would go ahead and just remove the United States and it would just go to worldwide. It would show you what people Google worldwide for that particular search. But if not, I would just keep it to the United States because I don't think there's too many people in Beijing, China or Australia that are Googling San Diego house cleaners, yada, yada. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click. We'll just do, we'll try that. We'll do San Diego photographer as our example or photography refer let's click get ideas loading 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 okay great so let's go to keyword ideas click over here and it shows us how many people are googling san diego photographers each month and if we click over here 720 people that's good. If you get ranked number one for that, I'm sure you're probably in business and you're successful. The competition is high. That means a lot of people have San Diego Photographer on their content. A lot of websites have San Diego Photographer on their content and they're trying to fight for that number one spot. Here's the related searchers. So here's other keywords that you would want to put through your, your titles, your H1 tags, your meta descriptions, your meta keywords, such things as for this related search would be like, Wedding photographers, family family photographers, photographers, San Diego, just reverse the words around. San Diego maternity. And to the right-hand side, it shows you how many people each month Google this. And obviously, we are just talking domestically because we had our filter set to just the United States. So, And then, again, over here for the Google AdWords, this is kind of what they're charging if you want to go ahead and pay for your, your AdWords campaign or something like that. So play around with this, this is excellent. I would not create pages with content without looking at the Google, what is this called now, Keyword Planner. So go ahead and create an AdWords account and then just go ahead and click on Tools and Analysis and just go through the steps we just talked about and you'll see the correct content that you should have on your site to run a successful business. All right guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you in the next video.